we all have different retirement dreams. Whether it's traveling around the world, pursuing a hobby, or spending more time with friends and family, one thing we're all going to need when that time comes is money. Tony Trino from Barnum Financial Group is back today to talk about savings for retirement and specifically Roth IRAs. Welcome back, Tony. Thanks for having me. You're like our Connecticut-style financial guru. Thank you. Uh-huh. Look at him. He's blushing. <laughs> we are talking IRAs, and they're designed to give people the incentive to kind of save up for retirement. Mm -hmm. And there's some really great significant tax breaks, right? Correct. Let's talk a little bit about some of the tax breaks. What's so beneficial? For a Roth or for a traditional? Which one? A little bit of both. Let's speak on both of them okay. if we can. Uh, well, let's start with the traditional because that's okay. what everybody recognizes. Traditional IRA is was or was designed. IRA means individual retirement account. Mm -hmm. So the traditional IRA was designed. You put the money in. You get a tax deduction when the money goes in. The money grows tax deferred, and when you take it out, it comes out as ordinary income. Okay. And that's how it works. Your 401k, you put the money in, yep. you get a deduction, it grows tax deferred. When you take it out, it's taxable. That's exactly how it works. Now, there's some caveats in there, but for the most part, that's how it works. Okay. The Roth IRA was designed to put in after-tax money. Mm -hmm. The money grows tax deferred, and then when you take it out, it's tax-free. So it's a very different concept from the traditional, but it works very well because a lot of uh, folks, when they retire, their tax bracket might not significantly drop, and they may want to have a, an account to go to mm -hmm. that has tax-free dollars in it. Now, we're getting ready to approach tax season, or we're actually in the midst of that. Should people be thinking about you know, converting to a traditional Roth IRA? Is that one of the avenues that we're, we're kind of pushing people to? Well, what I would tell everybody is, not necessarily do you have to convert, but you need to explore that opportunity and take okay. a look and see if that makes sense. And what you need to do is sit down with your financial professional and your tax professional at the same time because there are a lot of benefits to that but there are also some drawbacks for example I'll just give you one off the top if you're gonna make that conversion and you're under 59 and a half mm -hmm. you need to take a look if you have money outside of that IRA to be able to pay those taxes now in this year you can pay the tax you can elect to pay taxes over two years okay if you want or in one year depending on what you choose but the bottom line is you need to make that decision with a qualified person who understands taxes and a person who understands your finances because that can be a great conversion or it can also be a it might be a drawback it might not be for for you okay and speak about some of the drawbacks so with that you talked about the benefits we got that but what would be one of the drawbacks of converting to the yes. Roth well you have to pay the taxes up front so mm -hmm. if you have a sizable IRA that's taxable let's say for example you had a half a million dollar IRA mm -hmm. you have a five and it's all deductible you have a five hundred thousand dollar tax bill so you would have to pay taxes on that money in addition to your other income so you have to have the money so some would argue that paying that money today takes away from money growing, other money growing. So therefore, you have to look at, does it make more sense to pay that money today and have it tax-free, or does it make sense to keep the money in there, let it go, and then withdraw when you retire? We know that in 08, the market was down. Mm -hmm. About 35%, it says. It rebounded in 09. Mm -hmm. So what are you telling investors to do right now with their portfolios? I mean, what's the word of advice for them? Well, I would tell you this much. The market has, everybody can see that it's, it's looks like as, is, as if it has stabilized mm -hmm. and it's gotten better. But I'm not so sold personally that everything is, is great right now. So I think what you have to be aware of is take a look at your portfolio. Take a look at what the portfolio is there for. If it's for retirement, if it's for college education, if it's for a first house purchase, what is that money designed to do? and then take a look and make sure that how you're investing it, that risk is in line with that goal. So what does Tony say, to turn down the risk or take risk? I think Tony says is that you need to look and, and decide what you want, and then from that point you can turn up or down. It, it makes no difference because some people will say, well, I'm young, I can take the risk. And if you're in the right. accumulation phase while you're doing that, you might be able to, and that's fine. But I, I'm of the school of thought of whatever risk you're going to take, how much return is that going to warrant? Okay. And if you're going to take a lot of risk for not so much return, that's where you're, you have a problem, and that's where you might have to make a change. We have some viewer questions. Every time you come on, okay. you're so nice to answer some of our viewer questions. Viewer number one from Mark Starr. With beneficiaries and inheritances, can children be beneficiaries of Roth IRAs or no? Children, well, let's take down the contest. If you have a child who's your child but they're of age, they can definitely be the beneficiary. If you have a minor child and they're the beneficiary of an IRA, you need to sit down and talk with the professional because that's not always the best course of action. And there are a lot of other ways that you might be able to do that. But the, answer, the short answer is that yes, you okay. can make them the beneficiary. Not always the best choice. Let's go to number two if we can. Let's put that one up from Ruth F. I'm 21 years old. Is it too soon to consider a Roth IRA? Never. If you have earned income, and, you, and then you can make a Roth IRA contribution. Never too early to start 
saving, especially in an account mm -hmm. that allows for the great tax benefits that the Roth does. Let's see if we can get to Gail Webb. One more, if you don't mm -hmm. mind, real quick here. From Gail Webb, I just opened up a Roth IRA. How soon am I able to withdraw from it? I don't know, Gail. Wait a minute now. <laughs> <laughs> You're chuckling at that, but I mean... She probably should relax, no? Well, that's the beautiful thing about a Roth IRA. You're putting in after-tax dollars. So okay. what happens is after a five-year period or age 59 and a half, whichever is, is, is there, you're allowed to take out contributions. Okay. So let's say, for example, Gail is whatever age, and she puts in $5,000 for the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. And then in the 10th year, she puts in 50000 cumulative. It grows to 100. Mm -hmm. She has 50 of her own. 50 of earnings, and she says, I need to take out some money. She can take out the 50 she put in if she's under 59 and a half. If she's over 59 and a half at that point, she's subject to take it all. Great information. Wants. Thank you so much, Tony no Torino. Thanks for having me. All right. If you want to get in touch with Tony Torino, you can do that at Barnum Financials Group. The information on the screen or just come to our website, WTNH.com. Click on Connecticut Style, and we'll certainly have all the information there for you. Much more Connecticut Style coming.